it's Hannah here and thanks for coming to my channel. If you're new to my channel, well then yes, my name is Hannah, like the tattoo. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I do post new videos here every week and I'll also be giving one lucky subscriber a free iPad once I hit 10,000 subscribers. So you really don't wanna miss out on that. But without further ado, let's just get straight into this video. So you may or may not have noticed that, that these thumbnails are really in style now. It is a really ongoing, popular theme that a lot of us YouTubers are doing with our thumbnails. And that is having the object, the main object of the thumbnail, have a glowing outline around it. And I do have that on quite a few of my videos as well. And I've noticed that there's not as many videos kind of really just explaining it. If there are videos explaining it, they're a little too long and like not straight to the point. So I wanted to go ahead and just do a quick little tutorial of how you can also achieve that thumbnail if you're over here creating some amazing content and you wanna just create those really cool thumbnails. But let me tell you, it's not hard at all. It's pretty easy. As long as you have Photoshop, you're good to go. So I'm gonna try and put this right here. So let's just get straight into it. So here you have a, video, a picture that I created. And this is this was for the master brush collection review that I did. So this is the thumbnail right here. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and click that little paint thing right there. It has a little paintbrush with the outline. And yeah, I don't really know the correct terms, so don't get mad at me for that. Because <laughs> you know, I'm just kind of trying to do this. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and just highlight the, the actual subject or the area that you want to create as your main subject. So, you know, of course I'm doing it me and then the brush because obviously that's the main subject of the picture that I want to have outlined. And you can zoom in and get details to, because sometimes it will go out of line like you'll see right now I think. Yeah, see like how right now I just kind of went online. So, you know, you can just go back, undo that, and fix it, and go really into detail to make sure that doesn't happen. As you can see, it's happening again. So that's what I want. That's the subject I want to outline. Let me just pause right there. So what you're going to do now is you're going to copy. So I did Command C and then paste Command V. And of course, if you don't have a Mac, it's copy and paste. And what you do by when you, what you're doing is you're creating another layer. Layers are very important on Photoshop. That's where you get to do the really cool like little edits with it. So once you have your second layer, you're gonna right click layer two, which is the layer of your object, which is of course in this case, it's me holding the brushes. And you have this layer style menu come up. Right where it says blending options, you wanna scroll down to where it says outer glow. Literally, you're gonna be like, wow, this is so simple, Henna. What was I thinking not knowing how to do this? So you're gonna go ahead and click outer glow and you can just honestly click to see like more menu to change the colors of the glow. Just click the actual outer glow instead of just the checkbox. And you can go ahead and choose what color you wanna use. So I'm doing white just cause it looks nice, okay. And then you can also control the spread of the glow, how much you want it to spread out, how much you want to take it in. So as you can see, I'm gonna do that right here. Um, and then I went back to the more lighter pink just because I thought it was cuter. And honestly guys, that is pretty much it. That That's how you get the outer glow on your subject. So yeah. Of course, I know I don't really know some of the correct terms for certain options in Photoshop, but again, this is not supposed to be like super advanced Photoshop tutorial. This is supposed to be get you straight to the point of what you guys need to do and want to do. But all right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope I could be helpful in any shape way or form and that's it so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because i do post new videos here every single week and i'll also be giving one lucky subscriber a free ipad once i hit 10,000 subscribers so you really don't want to miss out on that and other than that guys go ahead and comment down below if you'd like me to make any more videos like this where i show you how to like edit pictures or videos or anything i'll be love to help you guys and that is it you guys so i will see you in the next video Bye. Oh,